last time you talked, you said it was laughable, some of the luck you've had, but scoring goals. What's going through your head when they, when they challenge? Yeah, I thought they were going to take it back for sure. No <laughs> chance they were going to let that go. No, I was, um, I think Comp did a really good job getting in front of the goalie there and um, looking at the clock there, and it didn't really seem like there was goalie interference. So I was just, you know, hoping it, hoping it went our way and lucky to get that one there. How much of a playoff control? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, I've been feeling good lately. It's, you know, I, I think the goals will come. You know, I've just kind of been trying to do my best to help the team any way I can and just been trying to get to the net, trying to put bucks there. And, um, you know, I think eventually they're, they're bound to come. So it's good to get one tonight. Karen, does this time score you could contribute more than just the kind of involvement in your role? Yeah, I mean, I like to chip in a little bit once in a while, but um, obviously uh, defense and PK is a big part of my game. And um, I think, uh, you know, we can, uh, we as the fourth line can uh, chip in uh, games and I think it would really help with the team. I don't know how much of a view you had of it, but what did you see of Val, what he did on that play? Uh, I mean, he, he made a good uh, jump and knocked the puck down with his hand and made a pretty nice sauce pass over to me. It was a really nice play by him. What has he kind of just meant to this team the last little stretch as you guys rallied? I feel like he's a, you know, he's a workhorse. He uh, he's a big body that skates really well, and uh, I think he plays the right way. Um, has a good touch around the net, and um, you know, he's a he's been a key part of this team. You guys dominated the third period, eighteen to five in shots. Can you just talk about that stretch after they tied it up? Yeah, I think um, just sticking with it is, is a, you know, a big part of, of any winning team. I think, you know, we were doing the right things through the first two periods and, um, you know, I think the goals are really showing up for us, but yeah, to be able to stick with it there, um, you know, I think our speed is, is very tiring for other teams, you know, if we, if we keep that up and keep the pressure on. And, and I think we did that there in the third, um, finding a couple goals was huge and, and getting two points is big here. I mean, you said it well, uh, I think, um, the relentlessness of our team, um, all three periods. Um, you know, sometimes we ha we haven't got the results sometimes, but uh, tonight was one of those nights that uh, you know you just stick with it, and you know those goals are bound to happen. Because of your uh, Alex, because of your friendship with Bo, you're asked about him a lot. But now that he's being sent down for the community, your reflections on that. Yeah, I think it's good for him. I think, you know, just, just being able to be playing again is, is exciting. I think it's exciting for our team. It's exciting for him. You know, he's gone through a long, uh, a long spurt here of, of not being able to play, you know, being away from the team and then coming back. So, yeah, I think it's, you know, good for him to get into game action and, and we're looking forward to having him back with us. How concerned were you guys about Nathan? Yeah, obviously he, he's a, one of the most important parts of the team. Uh, you see him go down, um, you know, you, you're, you're concerned. Um, you know, luckily uh, it wasn't, uh, you know, serious as we all thought it was, but, uh, you know, definitely not a guy that you want to see go down, but we know he's a, he's a tough guy and he'll be playing when he can. Happily surprised? Of course. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Alex, with uh, the injury to McKinney, you got that chance on the second line. Does, how does it feel to be that wild card, that guy that, you know, they've been using the top six in the yeah, I think, you know, we have, <clears throat> sorry, we have uh, a lot of depth on our team. And I think, you know, there's, there's lots of guys around that can step up, you know, when the opportunity comes up. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I take pride in, in being a guy that, that can play anywhere in the lineup. And um, when guys like that go down, um, you know, I think it's it's big to be able to have that opportunity and be able to step in there and, and uh, you know, be a key part of that line. So, um, yeah, I just try to do my best there in, uh, in Calgary game. And, you know, there's going to be injuries down the stretch. And I think everyone in this lineup is ready to step up when the time comes. Thank you guys. Thanks. I think I would like I would like to have the second goal back. Uh, it was kind of like a weird situation when uh, we lost the draw and I was trying to find the puck and uh, I found it when it, when it was like on the way to me. So I wasn't able to just like uh, yeah go on the ice as quickly as as I needed. So I mean it was like a it was like a great game from us since the start. They even it up a little bit in the second, and uh, the third period was just something I've never experienced before. Like we we just played in their zone all the time, and they barely get some shots. So that was that was unreal. What what could you have done better on the on the second goal? Yeah, I think I just I just uh, you know I have to battle for the puck and find it quicker. And uh, yeah, I mean you know like there's a lot of situations like this during the game, and as I said, I would love to find the puck quicker and, and save it. Do you have a view of what happened?
happen on the, there's a big like scrum right down by your net with the penalties and everything. Did you have a good view of that? Yeah, I've seen some guys coming from behind to each other and taking the body down. So it was like a domino, like <laughs> always like some, someone else came, came in, just dropped the other guy. So I think, I think the refs did a great job in that moment because, uh, you could see they were frustrated and, and, uh, they, they made a good call. Have you ever seen Cal McCart take a rock in No, never. <laughs> that was the first time. All right, thanks for Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Game in general, and especially in the third period. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I mean, third period we got ramped up offensively for sure, but defensively the whole night I thought we were good. You switched Black and up to the top line. Just trying to get a little bit more offense going, shake things up a little bit. Um, yeah, it worked. Val was amazing in the third period and helped Naz and those guys. They got a couple goals out of it, so nice job by those guys. Are you going back to He's been good. Yep, steady defensively. Made some plays offensively tonight. Had a real nice play on uh, coming out of the zone, two on one. Put it over to Naz in the back door. You're starting to see a little bit of offense out of him, and the defend defending details have been good. It looked like Stern played a big part in that first goal. What did you What did you think of him? I can't remember the first goal, but he was good. I mean, he's been steady. He's been really steady defensively. Heavy body, tough, like tough competitor along the boards. Um, yeah, you know, like to see a little offense come, but he had a couple chances tonight, had the partial breakaway from Manson up the middle, um, you know, so, but on the defending side of it, face-offs and all that, he's been great. Penalty kill was great tonight as a group, but, but he was really good on it again. Just checking in if they were good Yep. I'll give Brother Cox, he scores that goal, he scores in one Yeah. Just how crucial is it to knock him out of this It's big, play. him and, uh, Nui. Right, knew he got one finally too, and on a beautiful play, you know, he pops into the middle of the ice, and, uh, and McDermott, I think, found him in the middle for the one time. A great screen in front, and then Berkey, same thing, going to the net hard, hanging around the net. Naz makes a play around the back of the net into EJ. He just shoots it, and we get a great rebound, and he puts it in the back of the net. So we need, like, we need. That's what we need to, you know, like it was tight checking again tonight. I thought we created lots of chances, but. Um, most of them, I thought, again, their goalie was seeing it a little bit too much, but the ones we got, we had really good traffic. Third period, the guys out shooting the game through the five. They yep. obviously get a goal there, but uh, I'm sure you liked how your squad handled the entire team. Obviously, they played last night. Yeah. I liked their game right from the start, to be honest with you. Like I said, the checking, if I went through the scoring chances after the first or against after the first and after the second, we weren't giving up a lot. So. It's the way you need to play down the stretch. We've done that now for a number of games in a row, and, and we're finding ways to get enough goals to win the hockey game. PP's been a big part of that. They were good again tonight. Got another big goal for us. So, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to tighten things up on the defensive side of it and still find a way to produce the offense. And we're just getting just enough to win the hockey games right now. Like the last game about Lynn, every game was kind of become that reliable for you. Is that nice to have that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought actually Miko, you know, he got better as the game went on. I thought he had a little bit of a slow start to the game, but he comes up clutch on a big, you know, on a big power play goal. Great pass from Naz. You know, it was a little bit of a broken play, but they find a way to, to get it to the open man, and he made no mistake on it. Well, you can only go down three games in six days. That's what it is after the deadline. So we'll make a read on it after he plays a couple here this weekend. That's the plan. And then we'll decide if he's going to come back and join us or stick around for one more. So the point is going to put both in Ontario. Yep. With Kadri, I, I know Landis guy talked in the past about some frustration with officiating with him. And he was frustrated during the game. And you talked about the day about getting kicked out of face offs a lot. Is it fair to say there's a sense of Frustration around how he's officiated, and would you say you share that frustration? Sometimes. Yeah, I didn't like the non-call tonight. I mean, it's a cross check in the lower back, eight feet off the boards, and puts him head first into another player when he doesn't have the puck. You know, to me, that's a penalty all day. Those can be hard to pick up because there's a crowd going in there, and you know, you're watching a bunch of different things as an official. I love to see that call. You know, I mean, he lucky he didn't get hurt out of that. Um, 
I'd say this, Naz has done a, a really good job at trying to change his reputation that he had when he was a young player. Uh, he's biting his tongue a lot. He's playing hard. He's, you know, uh, he's not going down easy when, when players get a hold of him or get a stick on him. Um, so he's fighting through a lot of checks. And to me, you know, he's a top player in the league. You, you hear Toronto will, you know, voice their opinion that Matthews is in called. Edmonton's getting the same thing with M M uh, McDavid, you know. So to me, Naz is a top player. St his statistics show that this year, and he's hanging on the puck in traffic and escaping guys. And, you know, I think he should earn the calls that he deserves. I, you know, players want to call on everything, okay? It's natural, okay, because they feel it. They feel the pressure. It's going to get tight. It's going to get hard. You're going to have to play through a bunch of stuff. But certainly, you know, there's there's times when I think he's he's earned calls that he doesn't get. But, you know, a lot of players feel that way. you got to just keep powering through it. He's done a nice job of that, continuing to play. He gets hit in the back, goes head first into the, into the other player tonight, comes back, gets two assists. That's what I want to see out of him. He uh, stopped at the back. Well, I'm not even sure. I'm guessing. Either that he was hurting a little bit and needed a minute. You said uh, Petrushkin was excellent in the third period. Could you elaborate on his game a little bit? Well, I mean, he he gets in a couple skating routes out of the D zone, drives their D one time outside, one time inside, takes it all the way to the house, um, gets two scoring chances out of that, has an awesome reload and cuts off a pass into the middle of the ice and then sets up Helmer. I mean, that's three plays, like game-breaking plays. It looked like he tried to take the game over by himself in the third period, and I thought he did.